Well, here we are, folks. WrestleMania Eve. And it's kind of a piss take to call it WrestleMania Eve. But really, for wrestling fans, it does take on something of a Christmas-like quality in that in your youth as a child, WrestleMania is a remarkable, magical affair. Whereas, as you descend into adulthood, it becomes more of a sort of cynical, capitalist, cash-grab kind of affair. And uh, you take pleasure in the enjoyment that... Um, naive minds take from it. Nah, I'm just kidding, it's mania. It's the showcase of the immortals! We're all very excited. I know I, for one, am planning on spending the entire pay-per-view sitting on a large bucket so I can defecate freely without worrying about getting up and having to miss a single second of what I'm sure will be 17 hours of non-stop in-ring bell-to-bell wrestling action. I would like to take this moment to single out, in my own sea of cynicism, my favourite Wrestlemania match. This is Cracker's favourite Mania match. Alright, so it's from the first Mania I ever saw, which was Wrestlemania 8, 1992. We're talking about the epic Sid Justice Hulk Hogan main event uh, with the exciting Papa Shango run-in. First Wrestlemania I ever saw. It's the year I became a fan, August 1992. My life changed. For the worse. Definitely for the worse. My favourite match is Bret Hart versus Rowdy Roddy Piper. It's my favourite match of Mania, WrestleMania history, partly because I'm a huge fan of both guys in general, uh, particularly Bret Hart. A lot of the guys I'm really into are guys who wrestle very differently to me, and I can't think of a wrestler who's much more different to me as Cracker Jack than Bret Hart was, like sort of super clean, tight, technical, very dry, I was all colourful and noisy and sloppy as shit. Uh, on the other hand, Piper is a guy who I shamelessly stole from over the years and uh, shall continue to do so until I am dead, uh, where even then I'll be tearing off some of his shtick because I'm sure I'll die in my sleep having a heart attack. Uh, I love this match. It's uh, Technically, it's really solid. I just It tells an amazing story. If you haven't seen the match, I'm not going to spoil it for you. You should uh, get on the interwebs and watch it immediately. But it's one of those um, heightened emotional storytelling ones, and it really taps into the whole point of connecting narrative to wrestling in the first place. It's to give the grappling greater meaning. It's to uh, invest some emotion into the affairs and the idea of two guys with a youthful connection in the business, one of them arguably on the way down, another one still on his ascendancy to wrestling main event, uh, Piper not wanting to step down, but also not wanting to hurt someone that he cared for when they were younger. And... Um, you know, years later, it would clearly ring tremendously true to me as I stood there suppressing the urge to cave young Lockie's chest in with a sledgehammer. Uh, but we all make mistakes. I wish each and every one of you a fantastic WrestleMania. I'm sure it will be amazing and no one will be taken to the webs to air their disappointment in the wake of it. I hope you all get really loaded. Have a wonderful time. Eat some garbage. Enjoy the grapples. I'll catch you all for Mania Boxing Day.